Okay, we are here and we want to solve for x, focusing on a certain type of equations and, but also we shall look at inequalities. Like three is actually not an equation, it's an inequality and we'll have a chance to solve these and many more. Right, let's get started. For example, we start with the first question first. How do we solve these particular equations? Um, in a step-by-step -step fashion, let us note this. Right, so we start as follows. We focus on number one, and obviously focusing on number one, we are looking at the solutions. We must state this up front. We are focusing on the solutions, and what are the solutions here? The solutions to these are basically um, attempts at solving this. So we have x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. What do we do here? We need to factorize this. But to factorize this, we take x squared and multiply it by 12. From this, we get 12x squared. Okay, we multiply x squared and 12 on the side, and then now we look for the factors of 12x squared, that will give minus 7x, and those are obvious. They are four and three, okay. because negative four and minus three x, okay? Because if you multiply them, uh, you multiply negative times negative, you get a positive, then four times three is a 12, and x by x is x squared, and therefore, we're excited with this because now we have then the actual solutions to this. And so we then have x squared minus 4x minus 3x plus 12 is equal to 0, which means x into x minus 4 minus 3 into x minus 4 equals 0. Okay, now looking at these with much caution, we re recognize the highest common factor, which is x minus four. And within the parentheses, we then have x minus three and the result is zero. And this means x is four or x is what? Or x is three. And, and these are the solutions to this particular problem. When you take out the highest common factor, you actually um, imagine crossing it out here um, after the factoring process so that you're left with x here and you're left with minus three as well. And uh, these are the results. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Number two. With x into 3x plus 5 equals 1. Distribute, multiply x with 3x, you multiply x with 5, and let us see what we get. x times 3x gives us 3x squared. Yeah, x squared. by 5 gives us 5x, okay. and we subtract 1, and the result is what? Is zero. 0. We use the quadratic formula, which says x equals uh, minus b plus or minus uh, the square root of b squared minus 4ac, mm. all these is divided by twice a. And this is minus b, which is actually minus 5 plus or minus the square root of the b, which is 5 squared minus 4a is 3, and c is minus 1, and you divide everything by twice a, and a is what? a is 3. Um, so that you have plus or minus here. Okay, so you have 25. 25 plus 12. Right, what is 25 plus 12? Do you know? This is 25 plus 12, 37. 37. Okay, 37, check that. I need to divide everything by six. Yes. Okay, so we have this 
problem here in front of us. And then now it remains to just uh, simplify this and get the actual test models because the question said you need to uh, um, obviously solve this to two decimals. And therefore, yeah. um, to two decimal places, then uh, we get the actual result out of this. So, which means, as you continue the solution to number two, x equals uh, minus five plus the square root of 37. Or wow. x equals minus five minus the square root of 37. And uh, the answer is 0, 0,18. Okay, um, right, yes. So x is approximately 0 0.18, two decimal places, or x is approximately what? Um, negative 1,85. Right, so this becomes the answer. This becomes the answer. Number three. We have x squared. Less than minus 2x plus 5 plus 15. Excuse. Okay, try to solve this one. Okay. Okay, because we're just, it's just a recap, but yeah, can just try to solve this one and see how far you get. Let me know when you're done, please. Okay. Just recapping on some basic equations. Right, just recapping on some basic equations. Okay. That's a recap on basic equations. Okay. So it's an interesting one if you're solving it. Now, a couple of things are very important here. It is uh, to transpose all the non-zero terms uh, to one side of the inequality, and this is what we get. We multiply x squared in minus 15. So this is minus 15 x squared. Yes, and the thing is okay. positive, positive What are the factors? Positive three and negative five. Well done. It's positive three x and minus five x. So those are, um... <laughs> yeah, okay. The, the, the largest yeah. number will have to take the, oh, largest yes. number will, uh, will have to take the sign due because oh, yes. Yeah, because it is plus 2x, so 5 must take the plus. And therefore, 3 will have to take the opposite, which is the negative. Right, so that we have x squared plus 5x minus 3x minus 15 is less than 0. Right, so we have x into x plus 5 minus 3 into x plus 5. 
x plus 5 into x minus 3 is less than 0. So these are the factors of this. And uh, now we continue to look at 3. And 3 would be therefore x plus 5 into x minus 3. x plus 5 into x minus 3 is less than 0. Okay, there are certain things we call critical values. Right, let us look at the critical values. Right, so the critical values are x equals minus 5, x equals 3. And then this means that at this point, uh, we have uh, the following. Is draw your rough sketch of a possible graphical representation of uh, the constraint inequality. And uh, we have uh, minus 5, 3, and 3 there. But when the inequality here is strictly negative, less than 0, it means that we're looking at where this is uh, certainly below the, below the x-axis in the graphical representation. Okay, below the x-axis is between minus three and three exclusive uh, or exclusively. And therefore, we therefore have uh, minus uh, five less than x, less than three. So it is only between, with, this is how we say x lies between minus five and three. Okay, but obviously then this becomes uh, the answer to this. And obviously, we understand, therefore, that our x here is uh, a real number. Okay, so just to look at that and look at that with utmost, utmost caution. Let's look at the next uh, equation. If you have here twice x, plus 5 out of x, equals 11, x not zero. Let's look at this one now and look at what can be done to solve this. Um, what can be done to solve this particular, um, what can be done to solve this particular inequality? Can we say two x plus five over x minus 11 equals to zero? Yes, you can say 2x plus 5 over x minus 11 equals 0. So obviously, we always do this first. So it's a very, very important step um, to transpose all the terms to one side of the equation. And then we think of what to do next. And then we can say... Um... Right, so... We can consider what you call the LCD. The LCD, yes. The LCD is X. If the LCD is X, it means that you take the 2X, you multiply it by X. Then you also have 5 over X, you multiply it by X. You also have minus 11, you multiply it by X, and the result is what? Is 0. At which point to realize that twice x squared, x cancels x, gives us a 5 minus 11x equals 0. Um, right, so plus 5 equals 0. Number 4. So that we have 2x squared minus 11x plus 5. Minus 11x plus 5 equals 0. Okay, what are the factors of this? That's the question we ask. What are the factors of this? To get the factors, we take the quadratic term, 2x squared, we multiply by 5 in the... Result is 10x squared 
And so with 10x squared, what are the factors of 10x squared that give minus 11? And those obviously are minus 10x and minus x. Right. So we have twice x squared. Minus 10x minus x plus 5 equals 0. So now, which means that we have twice x. Uh, and then x minus 5, and then minus 5. Um, x minus 5 into twice x minus 1. So obviously at this point, we take out the highest common factor. If we take out the highest common factor, we actually are left with the 2x and minus 1. And uh, we have this here as a consequence. And then what do we do uh, with this? Right, which means x becomes 5 or x becomes 1 over 2. You get the point. Right, so um, we have this. We have this, most certainly. Okay, just take note of that and make sure you sort of understand what is happening. Now, certain equations are of the rational type. Are of the rational type. So, if you look at the equations of the rational type, what do we do? Let's look at first this one. Right, if you have x minus 5, into x plus 2, which is equal to minus 6. So now you multiply out, and we have x by x, what do you get? You get x squared. x by 2, you get 2x. We have minus 5 by x, you get minus 5x minus 10 equals minus 6. So, which is x squared minus 3x, okay, minus 4, and the result is 0, okay? So, what are the factors of this now? Your thoughts, please, or your thought. What do you think are uh, the factors of this at the moment? Mm -hmm. What are the factors of this at the moment? What are the factors of these at the moment? It's right. a positive, positive one and negative four. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the end, then you have... Uh, okay, first you multiply x squared with minus four. You multiply x squared with minus 4, and what you're getting is minus 4x squared. And then now you look for the factors of minus 4x squared that give minus 3x, and those are minus 4x and x. And therefore, this is x squared minus 4x plus x minus 4 equals 0. Right, so we look for the factors of the first two terms, so getting x minus 4 plus x minus 4 equals 0. And now, if you then have this, we have x into x minus 4, okay, plus x minus 4 equals 0, and you have x minus 4 and uh, this cancels this, giving us exactly uh, at this point to uh, x here. x plus 1 equals 0. And this, therefore, means x is 4 or x is minus 1. Okay, so these are sort of the solutions that we get uh, here to this particular problem. Okay. Um... 
let us continue to solve more of the problems here in the find ourselves um enjoying um a little bit enjoying a little bit next one right so the next one is as follows right so some equations are of this type um radical equations minus three equals zero let's look at equations of this type of the radical type what do we get here as a consequence what is the answer to this and what do we do here um, right yes. what it do we do here what do you think? We, we, we put it in brackets and solve it. Yeah, we attempt to do that. So we always leave. Get rid of the square root. Yes. We get rid of the square root. Yes, okay. we get rid of the square root first. But now to get rid of the square root, we must make sure the square root is on one side and everything else on the other side. So if the square root is on one side, then we proceed to square both left and right. So that this is 2x plus 1 equals 3 squared is what? Is 9. So we have 2x plus 1 equals 9. We have 9 minus 1. What is 9 minus 1? 8. Divide by 2, what do you get? 4. So we have x equals x equals what? 4. x equals 4. x equals 4. with x equals four. Now is four the correct answer? We need to check. So let us do a check. We're checking x equals four, so we're gonna take the left-hand side of the original equation, which is uh, 2x plus 1 minus 3. The left hand side is uh, 2x is 4 plus 1 minus 3. Okay, what is 2 by 4? 8 plus 1, which is 9. Nine. So 9 minus 3, the square root of 9 is what? Is 3 minus 3, which equals what? zero and this zero is actually the right hand side and uh, hands hands indeed x equals four is uh, uh, is uh, the solution to this is uh, the solution to this let's look at the other at another problem let us look at another problem Right, so if you look at 7 here, what do we get from 7? So if you look at 7 here, you have the square root of 2 into <clears throat> 1 minus x, and uh, we close the bracket here, and uh, this is actually x minus 1. And uh, in the end, then you have uh, that we have 2 into 1 minus x, and uh, you square the left, you square the right. So now, if you square both left and right, you have uh, 1 minus x. And you square these, and this is x squared. Okay, you square x, you get x squared. x times minus 1 times 2. Minus x two. plus 1. So, which means 2 minus 2x equals x squared minus 2x plus 1. 
So in the end then, what you're then getting is that two minus two X, two minus two X is equal to X squared minus two X plus one. X squared minus 2x plus 1, which means, therefore, you have x squared, okay? You have minus 2x. You bring this one across. It becomes plus 2x because it's minus 2x. If you bring it across, it's plus. And then you have 1, and you bring the 2 across. It becomes minus 2. It equals to 0. Yeah. And then now you have x squared. So you have cancellation. The cancellation law applies. So these two things cancel out. And then you have minus 1 equals zero. So, okay, this is a difference of two squares. Difference of two squares, like x squared minus that. So you can write it like this. Equals zero, which means, because difference of two squares means that, in general, the difference, difference of two squares. Okay, the difference of two squares would, is that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b into a plus b. So that in the end, then what we're getting here is when we have uh, this one squared minus that squared, you can write it like this. And therefore, what we're able to find here is that x is 1 or x is minus 1. Okay, so... Okay, that's the answer, but you need to check. Um, you need to continue to check here what you're getting. You need to continue to check here what you're getting. And so, um, right, so you need to check the answers. So obviously you now if you have X, uh, because it's all problems done through squaring, you need to check the answers because the problem with squaring in mathematics is it, it introduces unwanted solutions. So one of these might not be the solution to this, but we need to check. So uh, we have x equals one or x equals minus one. So we need to check these. Okay. Um, so in the end, Um, you have that you have the square root of 2 into 1 minus x equals x minus 1. So the left-hand side. Okay, if you have the square root of 2 into um, 1 minus x. Okay, this is the original equation, 2 into 1 minus x uh, because x minus 1. Right, so this is the original equation. And we are attempting to check if these solutions in terms of want to check which one is correct here or which one is actually the solution to this. Right, the left, for example. The left-hand side would be just the square root. Um, so um, for x, okay, yeah. all right, for x equals 1, so you have 1 minus x. You have one minus x, um, which is two into one minus one. You put out uh, one in the place of x and therefore one minus one is zero, the square root is zero. The right-hand side, the right-hand side is actually x minus one. When x is one, you have one minus one. In the place of x, you put one here. X is one, we're checking one. And one minus one is zero. And clearly the left hand side is zero, the right hand side equals zero. So that's x, that's left is zero and the right is zero. Okay. 
Um, so, um, right, so hands, X is one. So for the other one, so x equals minus one, we have the left hand side, right? So for x equals minus one, we have the left hand side, which is the square root of two into one minus x. So in the end, then what you're getting is that uh, you have the left hand side, which is the square root of, 2 into 1 minus 1. Okay, so this is actually 1 plus 1. Negative by negative is plus. So it's actually 1 plus 1, which is 2 by 2 under the square root. Mm -hmm. And the square root of 2 by 2 is simply the square root of what? Of 4, which is 2. And then we focus on the right hand side. Right, the right hand side of the equation is x minus 1. That is the right hand side. x minus one, that is the expression for the right-hand side. But x is minus one, and this is minus two. So what we're clearly getting here is that the left-hand side is, is two, and the right-hand side is minus two, or uh, hence. Hence, x is not equal to minus one. Or you can say that x equal to minus one is actually in admissible. Is an inadmissible solution, or it is a, a an invalid solution to this particular equation? Right. So we have uh, a lot of problems to try. Let's look at this particular equation in front of us. Right. We have uh, the square root of the square root of x minus one equals two. Okay, try this one quickly. Let's see what you're getting. See, in the end, it's about practicing. I mean, you can watch the whole year, but a soccer player who watches the match for the whole year and is put on the pitch will not often perform until it's put on the pitch slowly, slowly. And gradually they learn if they are doing, they are in action. But if they are just watching at home and you bring them here and you say, come and play for Kaiser Chiefs, that's the reason maybe why Kaiser Chiefs is losing. Maybe the players are not. Well, I mean, they always blame the coach because if they lose, then they say the coach is the one because Kaiser Chiefs has been losing lately. So if the soccer team is losing matches, the people normally look at the coach and they say the coach is not is not a good coach because why are the players not able to play? You know, the people begin thinking the coach is at fault. Right, so far. Almost done. All right. Okay. Okay. All right.
Right, so. Okay, so I said. Um, what did you do? I started, I get. I got rid of the square root first. Put, Good, so we square both sides of the equation. Yes. And if you square then, both sides, the square root goes away and you're left with what is under the square root and two squared is four, yeah? And then I said four, two four, and then I deal with that other x. Okay, so you can transpose the one to the other side transpose. so that you have one plus four. All right, so that now you have the square root of x and you have one plus four. What is one plus four? And I said five. And then what do we do next? And then I divided it. I got Okay, because now we still have the square root here. So there's a square root. So we must, we also want to remove, want to solve for x, we must remove everything around x and therefore we remove the square root. And this is 25. Okay. Yeah, but the, this is the answer. So, yeah, um, this is the answer, but is this the correct answer? We check. So we need to check. Right, in number eight, uh, we perform a check. Because we did a lot of squaring there. So the actual problem itself, so we're checking x equals, equals what? x equals 25. So we're checking x equals 25, and what we have in here is uh, the square root of x uh, minus 1 is equal to 2. The left-hand side. The left-hand side is the square root of this minus 1. And the square root of this becomes... Uh, the x is 25, so is the square root of 25 minus 1. And therefore, the square root of 25 is what? The square root of 25 is 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 is the right-hand side. And the, with this observation, um, I answer x equals uh, 25 uh, is uh, is the solution is uh, the solution or you can say hence x is 25 and that's it without uh, lots of descriptions here uh, it can even possibly cause you headache and uh, confusion and uh, obviously the examiners do not explain do not need a lot of explanations from um, from students. Okay, so that is something that one needs to take note of. Let's look at one more problem. Let us look at one more problem. You have three plus the square root of x minus one is equal to x. Okay, so how do we solve this one? I'm giving you a minute quickly, please try it. And then we shall do it together. Okay. Please try it. And then we shall do it together. And please let me know when you're done. 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 Okay, so up just at this point, uh, I know that you're still trying. First things first, uh, we need to leave the square root on one side and move everything else to the other side. Here is the square root and we move everything else 
And uh, minus three is what we need to move to the right hand side. Right. Uh huh. Is that right? Is that what you did? Yeah, I did. I did that, and then I, at the bottom I squared um x minus one, and I put brackets in the two. Then I yes. squared um minus three. Good. And then what do we get when we have this? Um. So oh, when it's done. <laughs> okay. That's fine. X minus one. If you square, the square root goes away. I'm happy that you're trying, which is excellent stuff. And I'm going to give you about some two homework problems or three homework problems to try um, so that you can you can perfect your, your problem solving skills. Right. So we have X now. We square X. Uh, you have X squared. Then you have here. You have here um, mm -hmm. minus six yeah. X because you multiply this with this with that. You multiply x by 3 by 2, we get minus 6x plus 9. So, uh, so you have x minus 1, which is x squared minus 6x plus 9. Which means x squared, you move the x to the other side, which is minus 7x, and you move the 1 to the other side, which becomes plus 10. Right, so now what are the factors of these? You multiply x squared with 10, and you have x squared multiplied with 10. And this becomes exactly 10x squared. Upon further exam, we're looking for the factors of 10, that will give minus 7. What are they? They are minus 5x together with okay. minus 2x. And at this point, then, what we have here clearly is that we have x squared minus 5x minus 2x together with 10 is 0, which means x is, to, is x minus 5 minus 2 into x minus 5 equals 0, which means x minus 5 into x minus 2 equals 0. We're looking at number 9, and uh, which means you have x minus 5 into x minus 2 equals 0, which means x is 5 or x is 2. Okay, because we squared both sides, we need to check which one is correct here. Because one of them is potentially incorrect, but we need to check. So we take out the original equation, which is exactly this one. So we have uh, 3 plus uh, the square root of x minus 1. Right, we have 3 plus uh, the square root of x minus 1 equals x. So what you need to check quickly is if you put 5 here, what is 5 minus 1? <clears throat> 5 minus 1 is four. a 4, and the square root of 4 is what? It's 2. It's 2. And 3 plus 2 is 5. five. And the right-hand side is also 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> that, that means, therefore, you're on point. So this is correct. And then what about two? Two minus one is what? Is one. The square root of one is one. Three plus one is four. And it is equal to two. So this one is not the case or this one is invalid. So now because this one is invalid, we agree the thought that the, uh, the only answer is x equals five over there. Right. So we continue. We continue to solve these particular problems. And now let us solve another little question over here in front of us. I'm gonna put another question. So we have solved the problem and we can remove this part here and make sure that this is removed, right? So what we're then getting in the end is that uh, we need to solve the next problem and the next problem to be solved is this one here, right? This one here. Okay, there are certain exponential equations I uh, want us to sort of discuss. Um, let me see what else can be done. Okay, obviously, we're going to return and do more, more equations, but let us look at this one. 
Right, let us look at this particular equation. Ten. We have the square root of 2x plus 5 minus 3 divided by the square root of 2x plus 5. And uh, with this set, it is equal to it is equal to um, negative 2. Okay, let's look at this and you want to solve this particular equation and so we solve this step by step and how to solve this step by step. We proceed as follows. To solve this particular equation step by step because we can see something that occurs twice. The square root of 2x plus 5 occurs twice. So we must let the square root of 2x plus 5 be equal to k so that you have 3 over k equals minus 2. Okay, and this is called the k method. Yes, it's called the k method. It's a great love method. The next thing now is to say at this point, if you have this, you multiply it through by the k. We consider the lowest common denominator, the LCD, and the LCD is only what? It's only k. And if we do that, you multiply, uh, if it is k, so you multiply k by the LCD minus 3 over k, you multiply by k, but also you have minus 2k. Right, number 10, we have the following. Right, we have k by k, which is k squared. And then the k cancels and you have minus 3. And this is equal to minus 2k. So in the end, then you have k squared plus 2k minus 3 equals 0. Right, which means that you have k squared minus 3. And this is uh, minus 3k squared. Multiply the k squared minus 3. We look for the factors of minus 3k squared that give um, 2k. And those are actually 3k and uh, minus k. So that now you have k squared plus 3k minus k minus 3 equals 0. Right, you take out the highest common factor here, which is k plus 3 minus into k plus 3 equals 0. And this is k plus 3 into k minus 1 equals 0. 10. Right, so what you then have is that you have uh, k plus 3 into k minus 1 equals 0. We have k plus 3 into k minus 1 equals 0. And this is k equals minus 3 or k equals 1. Right. If this is the case, what do we then have here? Okay. But we need to remember something. You need to remember that the square root of 2x plus 5 equals k. So we're going to put here the square root of 2x plus 5 equals minus 3. Okay, but uh, it is equal to k, the square root. Okay, so first things first, uh, the square root is equal to k. So that now we're going to have here the square root of 2x plus 5. 5 and this square root equals minus 3 because k is exactly that. Uh, k is exactly minus 3 or we have the square root of 2x plus 5 equals 1. So number 10. <clears throat> you have the square root of 2x plus 5 equals minus 3 
or the square root of 2x plus 5 equals 1. And therefore, you have 2x plus 5, and you square the left, and you square the right. Okay, also here you have 2x. You have 2x plus 5. And you square this one and you square that. Which means, therefore, when you square this, it is exactly 2x plus 5 is equal to, if you square the minus 3, it becomes a 9. And then you have 2x equals 9 minus 5 is a 4. And you divide both left and right by 2, you get a 2, you square both sides so that you have 2x plus 5, which equals 1, which means you have 2x equals to um, 1 minus 5. What is 1 minus 5? It is minus 4, and you divide both left and right, you get minus 2. Right. If you divide minus 4 by 2, you get minus 2. Okay, let's check quickly. If you put 2 here, what do you get? If you put 2 there, you have 2. Okay, because x is 2 here. x is 2 here. You put it here into the original square root uh, equation. So you have 2 by 2, which is 4, plus four. 5, which is 9. The square root of 9 is not minus 3, so this one is invalid. Right, it is invalid, or you can say that x is not x is not 2. Minus 2, you put it here, is 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. 5 minus 4 is a 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So this is indeed um, a correct answer to this, or it is the answer to this particular problem. Okay, we have used the K method to solve these particular questions. Let us try more problems. Here are two homework exercises. So the next Two problems form part of your home activity. Right, now number one of the home activity is going to be, obviously we are expecting, we are requesting you to solve for X. Um, when you have, for instance, 3x minus 7 is equal to x minus 4. Number 2, when you have uh, the square root. The square root of 2x minus three. Um, right, so two X minus three and uh, right, two X minus three, minus three minus two. Minus three, 2x minus 3 minus 2. Okay. Now, solve for x in these two cases. And uh, yeah, we will meet again. Okay. So we have uh, obviously um, solved a wide range of problems. And we continue to solve, we shall continue to solve more problems. So 